newspapers. The process has been making local headlines for weeks, but at a press conference at the Luzerne County Emergency Management Agency building on August 15th, Commissioner Greg Skrepinak called for a halt in the county's long overdue reassessment. I will on Wednesday make a motion to the Luzerne County Board of Commissioners to stop the implementation. We need more time. You know, 30 days is not enough. This has been a 40 year problem and it can't be solved in 40 days or it can't be solved in 70 days. Luzerne County's reassessment project was approved in 2003 when 21st Century Appraisals Incorporated was chosen to lead the effort. In recent weeks, residents have come forward expressing sometimes gross over-exaggerations and understatements in their new home values. One Harvey's Lake homeowner recently told the Times Leader that their new value is off by $400,000. But for those assessments that are off, they're grossly over-assessed or they're grossly under-assessed, meaning the balance that we so that we so desperately look for in this case is gone. Skrepinak said that many homeowners are fearful of their new assessed values and many believe they could lose their homes when the process is implemented. It is my belief that the system is supposed to assist in helping these people live the American dream and not make it into a nightmare. The overall plan not only calls for a halt to the implementation of new values. Skrepinak said the process and contract with 21st Century should continue and that new revenue generating opportunities within Luzerne County should be explored, including efforts toward Marcellus Shale natural gas extraction and green initiatives in county government. He also encouraged residents to contact state legislators in support of tax reform across the Commonwealth. He's hoping for the support of his fellow commissioners. I think both Commissioner Urban and Commissioner Petrillo are very concerned about this issue. I think you cannot take the wait and see attitude. Uh, the problem with the wait and see attitude is that there's real life decisions here. There's real lives at stake here. We need to ease the pain of these, you know, these property owners to know that, you know, to think that they could still keep their properties because there's a good many out there that believe they, they'll lose their properties. Chris Hughes, TimesLeader.com, Wilkes-Barre.